Good evening. Do you know how to say goodbye in Chinese? Maybe you will say, Yes, I know. 再见, right? Yes, 再见 is the first way to say goodbye. And it's very formal. Do you know the meaning? 再 means again. 见 means to see or to meet. It's like meet you again or see you again. 再见, 再见. Actually, we can also say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye comes from uh, English actually. Bye bye or bye. You can also say bye. One word. Or you can also say bye bye. Bye bye. It's more like a casual way to say. So when you use bye bye, basically to your friends, okay, or to your family, it's okay. 再见 is super formal. We don't say 再见 to our family or friends, okay. And except these two ways, we have another way to say. The third way to say goodbye, we can say, see you then, see you then. Actually, we don't know when, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow morning, right? So we can say, 回头见, 回头见. 回 means go back, but 回头 means do this. Now I'm 回头. 回头 is turn around, like turn your head. 头 means your head. So 回头 is this. So you turn around, you see someone. It's like the 孙, right? So 回头见, 见 means to see. Basically, we can translate 回头见 to see you soon or see you then. Okay, 回头见. And uh, the fourth way, we can say 我先走了. 我先走了 我 means I 先 first 走, 走 can be to walk or can be means to go or means leave so basically 我先走了 means I'm leaving now 了 means the changing okay so don't forget 了 when you say 我先走 because I am leaving in English is now. It's the situation is changing. So 我先走了 means I'm leaving. Okay. 我先走了. 我先 first. 走, work or leave. 了 means the changing. The situation is changing. 我先走了. I'm leaving. Okay. Next one. 下次见. 下 means next. So, 次, like time. So, 下次, next time. 下次, 见, to meet or to see. So, see you next time. You say, 下次见. English is like a see here, right? But Chinese is next time to see. Okay, 下次见, 下次见. What's the difference between 回头见 and 下次见? Do you know? <laughs> Okay, I said 回头 is just like turn around. It's really soon. 回头见 basically means maybe uh, three hours later or tonight or tomorrow morning. It cannot be um, like more than one week. 回头见, okay? But 下次见, next time. Next time can be next year. Can be... Maybe 10 years later. <laughs> That's super sad. Okay. So 下次见, 下次见, it's more like far away in the future. Okay. 下次见. And the next one, 再联系, 再, again, 联系, contact. 再联系, I will contact you again or let's keep in touch. 再, 联系. If you really want to keep in touch with someone, when you say goodbye, you can say 再见, 再联系, together, okay? 再联系, that's very important to tell someone you want to keep in, in touch with someone. Okay, number seven. It's like English. When someone is feeling sick, you can say take care, take care, take care. We can say 保重. 保重, or someone maybe um, you don't know when is the next time you can meet each other. 
you can say farewell. You can also say 保重保重保重 means take care or farewell. 保 means keep. 重 heavy or weight. Your weight. Keep your weight. Don't lose your weight. <laughs> Maybe if you say this to someone is on diet, someone is going to be very sad. But for Chinese people, we think if you don't eat enough, you are going to be very skinny and it's unhealthy. It's like me. <laughs> I'm very skinny. So every time my mom say, my mom says this to me like, 保重保重 take care, keep your weight. <laughs> you are so skinny now. 保重 but basically 保重 is more about a healthy problem. Okay. So take care, 保重 Someone is sick, 保重保重 Or maybe you want want someone to take care of themselves. You can say 保重 Okay. Next one, 再会再会再会 is similar like 再见再见 is formal. Then bye bye, but 再会 is super super formal. Okay, 再会再会 I feel. I don't really use this one, but in a very important meeting, okay, it's going to be very useful. 再会再会 Maybe the news when you watch the news, you will see ah,、uh, like the president, blah blah blah, like that. They will use this. 再会 Okay, next one. 一会儿一会儿一会儿 means ah、uh, a moment. 见一会儿见 Like see you soon, similar like 回头见 but 一会儿 means really like five minutes or maybe ten minutes or maybe one or hour. But 一会儿 cannot be more than thirty minutes. That's my thinking. 一会儿 when you say 一会儿见 you will see these people, you will see this person in within thirty minutes. Okay, so 一会儿见一会儿见 see you soon. Okay. Number ten, 告辞告辞 Maybe you will say, "Oh, I've never heard this word before." In our daily life, we don't use this anymore. But if you like the the custom drama or like the old time drama, they use this a lot. They say, 告辞告辞 Maybe in some animation, you will see this. But it's very Uh, important to now you know this way because if you are taking HSK six, they will use this a lot. If you like like Chinese old dramas, this is very important to know. 告辞告辞 means 再见再见 Okay, 告辞 Like when you say 告辞 you can do this. 告辞 <laughs> Maybe the people will feel ah.、Oh, maybe you watch too too many dramas. Anyway, this is also important, but it's interesting. Okay, so we learned ten ways to say goodbye. Let's review again. Please read after me. 再见，再见，拜拜，拜拜。回头见，回头见。我先走了，我先走了。下次见。下次见，再联系，再联系，保重，保重，再会，再会，一会儿见，一会儿见，告辞，告辞，大家学会了吗 ？See you tomorrow， 明天见，再见。